Kind of the same process as with Reeb, but uh, <laughs> just this one side seems to have more in it than this side. She never did get mastitis, thankfully. Oops, I missed. Nice singing, Logan. Did you want to milk her? No, I wanted a squirt. Oh, in your I remember mouth. how you used to squirt. I did. Logan mouth. would sit over there and I'd <laughs> squirt in his mouth. Um, you know, I'm sure you know about raw milk. It's like a really stable, healthy, safe thing to drink. We do pretty good on, you know, cleanliness, but maybe like, I don't use bleach. I just use soap and water, but we've been fine with it. <laughs> we've eaten brain that's what you're eating corn I showed it in your camera. so if i feel any lumps or anything like that i should sure kind of work them and maybe that's why we don't ever have mastitis maybe i don't know but i like to think that it helps the reason i don't see it shit that much is because i eat goat grain <laughs> has molasses <laughs> yeah. You used to get grain from down in Parma, headed toward Boise at the Treasured Sunrise Acres Dairy. Uh, really healthy, beautiful goats, all different breeds, uh, full-size goats. Um, we used to buy their raw milk there when we were first kind of starting out and get their grain mix. We get their mineral mix with the sea kelp and stuff. Um, it's really good, but right now we just got some bags of Purina goat, dairy goat pellets blend so it has corn molasses and a pelleted vitamin fortified for goats pellet pelleted, pelleted feed and i mean you can mix your own barley oat what was it it's oat barley mm -hmm. and yummy flax i don't think it had that much corn in it the mix from treasured sunrise acres you can kind of mix your own, but oat and barley taste really good, make the milk taste good. It's a good snack. That's enough, Logan. You need to stop eating that. It's enough. Pretty much getting it all. You can kind of see how the bag is emptying. I really do take a lot of time to try and get it all, but you know, my husband has a harder time milking because the teats are small, but he would kind of quit now. I just sort of keep going. Sometimes I take my fist, let me show this, Logan. You know, like the baby's head, the baby comes under the mama and goes boom, like that. <laughs> they go really hard and they go boom. And once you watch them a little bit, how they do it, you can tell like how hard they're doing that. And I'm not hurting her because they bump even harder than I do. But I do, in my thumb and my hand, I kind of do a flat hand like this and I go boom, and I kind of roll around. And I'm just, see, I got more milk. To release Logan. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You want to feel it? <laughs> <laughs> what made you giggle? <laughs> oh no, you tried to do it toward the camera? No. Oh, was it accident? It squirted like, I was squirted like that and it went, whoa. Mm. Will you thing? pick it up and make sure the milk's not going in the little bottom little part? Thank you. <laughs> I you think I just squirted milk into it. Hey, we're almost done here. I really could quit anytime. I'm just greedy, I guess, about getting it all. Because mm. once the when when they wean, they get a little stressed, and so their mm. milk production went down a little bit. I noticed mm. that it'll pick back up again. So once they get through the stress process of you know, a change in their life. You know, they <laughs> wean cool. their babies. And you have to wean all the way, like 100%. If you're going to start weaning, just wean them. The first time around with her and her baby girl, baby girl, we went on and off like, oh, well, we'll let her back on her mama, you know. And so for like a year, she would still mm. try and nurse her mom. <laughs> but if you do it, cold turkey, they don't try and nurse again on their mamas as much and these goats have accepted it really well this year mm -hmm. like notice they're quiet now and they were talking before because we were walking around and 
um, <clears throat> stuff. They accepted it because they got to be on their mamas a good long time. They were grazing, eating, fully eating everything on their own. So it just wasn't as bad. And when someone walks around outside, the goats will talk, especially, you know, if they want. We let them out to graze and browse around in the trees. What do you, you want some? They're going to ask you to stop. Okay. No. No more. And no, no thank you. I used to eat grain when I was a kid, too. Also had worms when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Pinworms. I remember. Must have eaten enough almonds to get rid of them. Almonds get rid of worms, I guess. It's so does walnut oil. Wow. Black walnut. Okay. Bye. Thanks no. for listening to the rambling. No, not listening yet. Done listening? No. I need to go cloudy in my fire. Okay. I always give them a little scratch on the butt. Look pat and say thank you. So, no, Logan, he's getting tickled by her tail. He's a good girl. So the goats, I've noticed after pregnancy this year, I think they got a little low on copper, maybe. You know, and they like didn't pick back up their body weight as much as I liked at first. So they're learning about what it is they needed. Always learning about that. He's a good girl. Goat. I love them. Okay. Yeah. Yummy bomb, as we call her. We also call her yummy, yummy, yummy milk. Move the camera here. Put our stuff up on the shelf. That's the discard. Support thingy. Okay. Anyway. Cody on the edge. So we built this little stand. We were given this stand by our 4-H leader friend. It was her sort of portable stand. Kind of has a hinge there. Um, and it's like the wooden frame. And then my husband just built. He put a block there. And he put... You know, like the two by four part. And he tried to measure the right height. I think he used her for the measurement. When she stands up on this little block, her shoulder's about right to go in it. And there's a block here that he made to hang the feed bucket. Hello, darling. I'll let you out. And there's a nail through the hole. And it just slides over. Um, he did more than one little setting size hole. You know, for different widths of their neck. Basically, you know, it's a really simple design. Uh, and the bucket hangs on that space between the two by four. And they eat their grain out of there. Um, there's, looks like he put a bit of a board here to make the space to hang the bucket. These buckets work pretty well. Get them. <clears throat> Mine and bolt. And uh, I think he just screwed it together with a drill. This is just some wood we had hanging around. But they do sell milking stands. I don't yummy yet. I know, darling. Yes. Yes. It's a good if you do, you're going to hang yourself on the nail. Don't do that. I'm trying to get more green. Yeah. Yes, you are. Very yummy. Oh, good girl. Yummy is not Reeb's mom. She's her, uh, you know, auntie. They're not actually related, but anyway, she's nibbling the green and stem. So, come on, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yeah. He's gonna put her out. All right, well, that's all for now. Yes, dear. Hi, so cute. You want your handful of grain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kids must be walking around outside. Talking. Come here. 
You can have your grain. That's your little reward, even though you just ate a whole bucket ball. Okay, out you go. Good girl. That's a good go to rain here this morning. Jungle goat. Oh, this is Reeves' mom. Um, yeah, we could let the mamas out to browse and graze. Chicha, that's her. So this is Reeb, and this is her mom with the white. Hi, Reeb. And that's baby girl, the first baby we kept. Yep, and so Chicha is Reeb's mama. They're all different colors, as you can see. Oh, be nice. Hi, Chicha. Hello, Chicha. Yes. Hi. Hello, Reebikins. Hi, Reebikins. She wants to go out. You ready to go? Okay, is the gate open? Logan, is the back gate open? You can let them out. So we have trees, the willow trees. They love to eat those. We turn them out of the house yard so they don't eat, you know, the roses and stuff. Oops, the gate didn't get... Okay, out you go. Go, goaties. Go. Uh, Logan, can you lead them? They know. Oh, dear. Come on. These are all the babies. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Yes, we put this small wire up to keep them from walking through the um, panel when they're babies. This is Pepper. Hi, Pepper. And Cream and Midnight, the survivor. Yes. Hi, Cream. Hi, Cookie. Hello, Flash. And Snowflake. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cheep Cheeps. We got new chickens. Hey, Reeb. Baby girl. Hi. There goes Reeb. He's going to go out and they love to browse. Come on. 